everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer, and today is the hairstyling day video. I don't know. Uh, most importantly, it's the day that I announced the Dyson hair dryer giveaway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go wash my hair. This is what my hair looks like four days without being washed. It doesn't really get oily, guys. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I have dry skin and dry hair. Uh, the products that I use are the Orbe Shampoo for Beautiful Color and then the Orbe Conditioner for Beautiful Color. That is what I use pretty much every day on my hair. Um, there are exemptions to that, but today we're going to do the basic look. So I'm going to go wash my hair, come back, and I'll show you how I get the look that you guys see most of the time, which is basically, you know, a blown out with a round brush um, look. There are two products that I'll use, that I use um, when I do that look. When you see me with like my naturally wavy curly hair, those are different steps. And when you see me with the um, curled hair that I've used my Dyson Air Wrap on, that's different as well. So those can be future videos if you guys are interested in them. But today it'll be the basic blown out look with the Dyson hair dryer. To enter the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to this channel uh, and you have to be subscribed to my Instagram channel. I'll post over there as well. And in both places, you need to comment with your Instagram handle or your email address um, and let me know why you're interested in trying out the Dyson uh, hair dryer. That's it. I'm not gonna, there's no other things that you guys have to do, but you have to do it in both places. Uh, the giveaway ends April 15th, so you guys will have plenty of time to enter. Um, I know this is kind of a bigger giveaway, so I wanted to make sure that everybody had time. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to start us off with. I don't think so. So I'm gonna go take a shower and wash my hair. Sorry, you don't get to see that part, um, but I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I'm <laughs> taking a shower and in full transparency, this is how I usually look for like two hours in the morning. This is an Aquas um, hair towel. I leave this thing on for like an hour, two hours, because I'm working and I'm like, I need to get emails out or calls that I need to be on where I don't need to be on camera. And this is what, <laughs> this is what they, you know, what I, what I do. I let it sort of soak up the extra water, uh, moisture in my hair, and then an hour or two hours when I get a break, um, I will take out the towel and do what I'm about to show you. Sometimes I don't have that. Sometimes I, you know, have calls early in the morning that I have to be on camera for, or I just want to get it out of the way or whatever. Um, and so I do always put it in this towel after I get out of the shower and then I just take it out of the shower, uh, out of the towel. So if you've never seen one of these, they are great. They are microfiber. They absorb the extra moisture in your hair. That's how I look. <laughs> they absorb the extra moisture in your hair and they are um, essential to, frankly, what I do every day. Okay, so now you can see like the natural uh, state of my hair is like kind of wavy. It's got like a little bit of, I wouldn't call it curl, I'd say it's, it's waves. Um, as, you, as my hair gets heavier and longer, the curls come out. When my hair is shorter, when um, I cut my hair, you see a lot more volume. At this length, with this heft, there's not as much. Uh, I was looking back in videos and I got my hair cut last in November. So November, December, it's been five months. My hair grows very fast. Uh, I cut off six inches five months ago and I'm pretty sure all of it is back. So basically an inch a month, which is craziness. Uh, all right, so the first thing I do is, this is the Revitalizing Forti Fortifying Serum. This is from Sisley. Um, I do this a couple times a week, um, and basically it's got a dropper in it, and I just kind of put it, now I tend to put it like in the front of my hair, because that's where I feel like, that's where I feel like I'm losing I know it doesn't seem like it, but volume, um, to me anyway, <laughs> I feel like I had more hair when I was younger, but you know, that could just be me. So anyway, 
I use that um, like twice a week. Um, when, for the days that I am using uh, dry shampoo, this is the Living Proof dry shampoo that I use. This is a travel size. I have like 10 of these because when I was traveling all the time, I mean, that was an absolute staple. I never went anywhere without that. Uh, if I was straightening my hair, like like pin straight, I would use, you really can't see the bottle anymore because I've used it so much, it's worn off. This is the Orbe um, Royal Blowout Hair Styling Spray. You spray it into your hair and it will make it like super smooth, basically like silk. So it'll be pin straight. The thing that I would tell you though, um, if you have heavy hair like mine and you want more volume, I don't necessarily love this because I don't know, it, it makes it, it makes it flatter, like not in a bad way, but it kind of, it's straighter. And so even though this is Royal Blowout Spray, if I want more volume, especially as my hair gets heavier and longer, I will use, um, the Living Proof has one. It's like a texturizing, volumizing. I forget the name of it, but I'll put it down below. But for now, what I generally do, because I'm I'm all about ease and just, you know, we're all busy uh, and I don't have time, uh, I use one of two products. Uh, one is the Lush Super Milk. This is a leave-in conditioner. You spritz it um, onto damp or dry hair and smooth through and then style. The other one is the Davines uh, OI All-in-One Milk. Again, leave-in conditioner, spray it in, um, you, you style your hair as you always do. So what I would say is Lush makes this one, Super Milk, which is I think great for people who have uh, heavier, coarser hair, but not super coarse. If your hair is super coarse, they make another product. Um, it used to be called R&B. They changed the name recently, so I don't remember the name of it. Um, I'm moving back so I, you can see this. Uh, it's a conditioning hair primer. It's almond, coconut, oat milk, uh, hydrator that seals in moisture and freshly washed hair and perks up dry curls. So what I would tell you is um, you don't want to use too much because it's, it's a hydrator. It works really well, but you know, if you have, if you have thinner hair, it could weigh it down. It doesn't happen to me, but <laughs> you know. Um, and it smells like almonds. Oh my God, it smells so good. And you will smell it like three days later. At least I do. I, I, it smells so good, which is why I've been leaning towards that one instead of the Davines one. Davines one works just as well, but the Super Milk smells phenomenal. Phenomenal. And by the way, I'm not affiliated with any of these. People. Like, I'm not getting paid for any of this. This is not, this, this is just what I do. Um, so I have a brush that I've been using forever. It's a cheap brush. It's a Conair brush, um, but it just works for me and it doesn't, you know, get tangled in my hair, doesn't snarl anything. Um, and so I brush my hair out, holding on to the ends because you don't wanna, you know, pull out your hair. Um, and the next step that I do is what a lot of people would probably think of as weird, but I do it because my hair is actually relatively coarse and what happens to my hair is pieces of it will go at weird angles, especially like the front here. It'll kind of go up and like this. I don't know why. So to try to get it to be uh, what it would look like if somebody professionally blow dried it, which I can't do because I can't stand behind myself, um, I actually blow it dry kind of like in my face, <laughs> which I'll speed through for you guys to get a lot of the moisture out, especially when I haven't worn the towel for a while, to keep it kind of... Um, not flat, but to keep it straight. Okay, so if you notice while I was doing it, I kind of like pull a little bit on my hair and run the hair dryer through it. I have the settings and I'll show you them in a second. At the hottest it can go with the most um, air. <laughs> because that is the only way to get my hair dry quickly. What I will tell you is that that just took, I mean, I forwarded through it for all you guys, that just took about five minutes and my hair is almost dry, which is a miracle because my hair is very thick, as you can see. Um, the Dyson dries it 
I mean, it, it usually took me half an hour to 45 minutes to do my hair. Now it takes me 15. That's why I invested in the Dyson. Um, so the buttons. So basically you have an on and off, you have a cool shot, which is here. And then here on both sides, you have the heat, you can go up to three, and then you have the air volume, the, like how fast and how much up to three as well. So when I did what I just did, I had it on the highest settings. When I turn it back on, you'll see what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the heat on the highest level, but the air on the lowest. And the way I'm going to do this, and I'll show you the, the front part of my hair at the end, because that is actually a little bit different. Um, I do something, I'm going to do something, I'm going to do some, the same thing to all of my hair, but then I'll go back in the front and change it. So I take the brush, the round brush. This is a uh, rain cry handmade Italy brush. I bought this on Beautylish actually, and it had really good reviews and I've had it now for quite some time. So I take it, I literally pull the hair up so that it's mostly the same length because my hair is layered and I go like this and I start to blow dry. And I do exactly what you've seen at every hair salon ever is, you know, I just keep rolling it and rolling it and rolling it until eventually you get this, you know, kind of curved look. Like I said, I'm like, I go back in with the bangs a little differently. So I'll show you how I do that. Um, and then talk a little bit about like cool shots and how you want to hold the hair to get more volume. So I'll let it go, I'll let it cool. It's important to dry it so that the hairs are going down so you get less frizz. Then I go back in and do it many, many more times. Okay, so you notice two things when I did that. One, when I take the brush and I go like this, the first thing I do is blow underneath. That is to get the hair sort of to go up. Um, if you really are somebody who has like thinner hair, um, you wanna do that, like you wanna hold your hair up when you blow dry it so that you're getting that volume, that lift. My hair is really thick and pretty volumized all on its own. So I don't really do that that much, but I do do like that little piece in the beginning where I blow up on it as I do this. I hold it up and blow like this and then I do a hot shot and then let it cool for a second and then bring it down. So you can see, I mean, that was really easy, really simple. I haven't done much. Um, since we started this video, um, this part of the video, it has taken me Let's see, nine, math, 15 minutes, oh, 12 minutes, 12 minutes. Um, so, it, you know, I fast forwarded through. All right, so now the front part, if you have bangs or what I have is sort of like winged bangs, uh, they are shorter than the rest of my hair so that they sort of frame my face. In fact, all my hair kind of does that, kind of goes at this angle. What I do is I saw it, I, I curled it under like the rest of my hair to begin with. But then I curl it the other way. So I go like this. Now, there are um, more, there's different ways to do this. And depending on how much volume you want, how thick your hair is, my hair is really thick. So I don't really spend a tremendous amount of time doing this. But what I do is I take the heat, I hold it. With the Dyson, you can put it right up against your hair. You don't have to worry about it. And then I take the cool shot. And then I hold it. 
or if I want to, I can like, if I grip it enough, I can just sort of leave it. So then you like, just kind of give it a, a minute. If you use curlers, it's the same idea or like a, you know, like if you pin it, in other words, let it go out and then pin it, let it cool down. The curl's gonna last longer. If I was doing a blowout where I wanted more like wavy curls, that's what I do. I let the curl come out and then I pin it. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So I'm gonna let this go. Okay, you can see how it's like a little bit up like this. So if I wanted the curl to be stronger, what I would have done is I would have blown it out like I did before. But the other way, then held it. Then let it go. And then I would have pinned it. So I would have curled it back up. This is just a messy one, but, and then pinned it and then let it cool. That will keep the curl longer for a big curl, little curl, whatever it is you're doing. But like I said, this isn't easy. This is what I do like every day. I'm getting ready. I have 20 minutes <laughs> kind of thing. So anyway, so you get that. And because it has that backwards wave in it, when I put my hands through my hair, and I tend to side part. Yes, I know, that makes me old. I don't care. Um, <laughs> I don't look as good with a full on um, um, center part. I need a little bit of a side part, guys. Um, that is what I get. And you can see, it gives you this kind of winged look um, and it settles down throughout the day. Now, if I wanna like enhance the curl here, let's say, or like, um, bring this up a little bit, like I want a little bit more, you know, curl. Do the exact same thing. I go in with the hair dryer and I pull down just like a curling iron would do in a circular motion. And see, now you have more of that curl in the front of your hair. That's it. Same thing on the other side. Hold the brush like this. I have it on the lowest, uh, the highest heat, but the lowest volume of uh, air. And you just literally like curl like that. And you get this. <laughs> so that is how I do my hair, guys. That's it. Um, pretty simple, pretty basic. Uh, I don't use hairspray generally. Sometimes I'll use hairspray if, you know, for some reason I feel like I need it, but I, I generally don't. And my hair, I flip back and forth throughout the day. Like I'll go like this and then I'll flip it back and then, you know, and I run my hands through my hair all the time. So I'm not the kind of person who can really do a um, hairspray look because I, I, it's, you know, I don't, I used to, it's terrible. I used to bite my nails when I was very, very young. Like before teenage years and I stopped myself from biting my nails, but I have a little bit of like a fidgety thing. So what do I do? I run my hands through my hair. Um, so I can't really like have a style that it's like has to be one way cause it would just drive me nuts. Um, every once in a while I will put like a barrette <laughs> or something um, in my hair if I want to do a, a, you know, a held style. But that is it guys. And that's, you know, a really full blown out look Two things I would say, obviously my hair is coarse and thick and it holds curl well. So that's, I mean, that's genetic. I didn't do anything to earn that. It's just what I have. Uh, but the products do help. The Super Milk and the Davines, they're both really good. Because they're conditioning primers, they keep your hair from getting frizzy. Um, they make your hair feel nourished and you know it looks healthy. Um, it's really important to make sure that your hair has moisture. There are a lot of people who are like, oh, well, if I over condition it, it's going to look heavy. That's true. If your hair is really thin, you should not put, you know, tremendous amounts of conditioner. Uh, yes, you're right. But you also want to make sure that your hair has moisture and is conditioned. It's like your skin. You don't, it's going to look dull if it doesn't have um, moisture in it. So make sure that you're using some type of primer or blow dry spray or something that has some moisture in it, conditioner. Um, when you're doing these kind of blowouts. Um, the other thing is the Dyson hair dryer makes a huge difference. Again, I'm not affiliated with Dyson. Dyson's not paying me any money to say this. 
I've been using this for a couple years now. I think it's two years, three, I can't remember. And it literally cha it changed my life. I know that sounds funny, but you know, guys, I, it's, <laughs> in a normal year, I was traveling, uh, I mean, a lot, like a lot, half of every month. And so, you know, I would go to these conferences and the, 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 like the first day of the conference, what I would do, like when I was traveling is figure out where the nearest dry bar was and get my hair blown out before the conference. Um, and my hair would last all week and it would be fine. Um, because I knew it would take me an hour to dry my hair in a hotel bathroom at least, um, because the hair dryers in the hotels are terrible. And that my Solano super dryer, which is a great hair dryer, guys. I know a lot of salons use them is super heavy and still took, still took 30 to 40 minutes for me to blow dry my hair. Ever since I got the Dyson, I just travel with the Dyson and it takes me 15, 20 minutes to do this. Um, now more complicated look, you know, if I want to do other things, yes, it does take a little bit longer, but not that much longer. And your hair doesn't get frizzy. It doesn't damage your hair. Your hair looks smooth. I, 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 I cannot say enough about this dryer. I mean, it, it's phenomenal. I love it. Um, and anything that cuts my, you know, time in half, if not more, um, is worth it absolutely worth it. It also doesn't burn out at all. Like it doesn't die. My, my, I don't know how many Solanos I went through this one. What it has at the bottom, you, there's a thing that you twist and you take it off. Oh, I need to clean this. And there's the dust and the, the debris is in here. And there's a tool that comes that goes over it, that cleans it for you so that you can keep it clean. And then that's it. That's it. There's no weird filter that comes off the back. It doesn't ever smoke. It's, it's an amazing invention. Thank you, Dyson. Uh, and the air wrap is amazing as well. If you guys want to see a look with the air wrap, I can do that. I can absolutely do that. But I wanted to show you my everyday. This is what and you can see it. My hair is now calmed into place. Uh, this is what my hair looks like. And this lasts until, like I said, you saw the before when we started the video, I did this to my hair four days ago. And that's what it looked like, you know, this morning. Um, it's, it's a really good routine. It works really, really well for me. And, uh, you know, I see no reason to change. Um, so Dyson hair dryer giveaway, like I said, until April 15th, um, make sure you're following me here. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you comment on this post and make sure you comment on the Instagram post that goes up today as well. I wish you all the luck in winning the Dyson hair dryer. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this giveaway. You know, I talk about the Dyson hair dryer so much that I was just like, you know, Jen, put your money where your mouth is if you believe in something. So uh, that's why I decided to do it. Plus, you guys kept asking for <laughs> for a hair tutorial, and I feel bad because there's not that much to it. Um, I wish there was, but there really isn't. It's relatively simple. Um, products make a huge difference. Tools make a huge difference. And um, keeping your hair healthy, like the Orbe, the Orbe shampoo and conditioner, I really do swear by that. It's great stuff. If your hair is color treated, it works extremely well. There are other brands that if, if the Orbe doesn't work for you, there's other brands I can recommend. Um, Dave, Davines is a really good brand. Davines is the one that has the OI milk. They have a, a number of different products that I really, really like. Um, but I have to say, you know, the Orbe works for me and it keeps my hair healthy and it keeps the color strong. And so, you know, I really love it. And this super milk by Lush, I'm telling you guys, this thing is awesome. And the smell is phenomenal. It's the, it's an almondy sweet smell that people will, people have come up to me and literally been like, what is, what, what are you wearing? What perfume are you wearing? I'm like, no, that's, that's my, that's my super milk. And they're like, what? <laughs> I'm like for my hair, this is my hair. Careful how you say it. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.